Hey, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you this very easy pop-up text animation. It's really easy to do and it only takes a couple of minutes. You can use it to grab people's attention, you can use it to emphasize a point, or you can use it just to keep people engaged on your video. So that's enough talk, let's get right to the tutorial. Hello, my name is Eric Bullard. Thanks for checking out this video. Let's get right to it. First, you're going to open up Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make some markers so we'll know where we want to add our text to the screen. So let's listen to the clip real quick. You can use it to grab people's attention. You can grab people's attention. That's what I'm going to focus on. So let's try to mark we can zoom in with the plus and minus key and you can see the audio files at the bottom there we're going to try to mark grab people's attention grab people's attention grab right there put m for marker grab people's people's right there attention attention right there it says three markers right there so first, we've got the markers marked. Let's press the letter T to write text. So press T on your keyboard. Boom. Go up into your program window and click you want to write a graphic. So the first word is grab. It's kind of small, that's all right. Let's open up our essential graphics. I go to captions and graphics up here at the top. It'll open up your essential graphics. There's stupid things in the way. Edit. So we have grab here. And what we want to do is this kind of small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. You can also uh, select center of the screen. This will center it, align it to the center of the screen. I actually want to put it down at the bottom. This button right here will align it to the bottom and then we want it in the center. And we can also highlight it and change the font to whatever we want. Uh, I do like this basic si basic sans, basic signs. Uh, semi bold. Oh, I don't want thin. Semi bold. So that's grab. And we have grab on the screen. Grab people's attention. So let's make it a little bit bigger. You have to recenter it. And then grab. if you look on our timeline, we have like a five second clip. I have a five second clip on here that's not going to do any good. We're going to need to cut that down. So press C, cut, press V, delete. Then we have grab. Let's copy this by holding the left mouse button, then click Alt, drag it over, let go of the mouse, then let go of Alt. Mouse, Alt, drag it over, let go of mouse, let go of Alt. Real easy. You just copied it. So now we have grab. And it still says grab, so we want to edit this one. Click on that clip, go up to grab, and we're going to edit it. Grab people's, and then we want to recenter it. Boom. Grab people's, and then we're going to copy it. Grab people's, edit this one. Grab people's attention. Okay, now we want to line it up. Well, we already did. Grab people's attention, you can use it to emphasize. So that one's already done. To grab people's attention, you can use it to emphasize. Let's try emphasize the point real quick, just to do a second version. We're going to marker, M. Emphasize a uh, point. Point. Emphasize a point. So we can use these because we were use them. Copy this one, put it down here, boom. Let's see if I can spell emphasize. Caps lock on. E M. Emphasize. Emphasize a point. And drag this down. You must copy it. I'm going to edit this one, emphasize, A, center it up, boom, you go to the next one, C, 
Center it. Emphasize a point. Okay, and you can see. Emphasize a point, or you can use it. They're not matched up with the markers here. I'll show you a quick little trick how you can edit this a little bit faster instead of trying to drag this over, matching up to the marker. You can drag this over, emphasize a point. Yeah, I mean, that emphasize works. Emphasize a point, or you can use it. Another way you can do it is if you use the rolling edit tool. Rolling edit tool, is that right? Let's go back to our editing workspace, and you can press the letter N. <laughs> or you can go to this menu here. There's a ripple editing tool and a rolling edit tool. You want the rolling edit tool. Like I said, press N. And then you'll see this little, I don't even know what that's called, arrows with a line in the middle. And you can just boom, boom. And you've already just edited some. Emphasize a point, or you can use it just to keep people engaged on your video. Oh, that's a lot. Just to keep people engaged on your video. Let's see if we can do those. Just. Just to keep. I'm going to fast forward this for you. Okay, so now we got them all there. We're going to go hit that. Let's go back to our editing button. And we're going to hit that letter N again. <laughs> that rolling edit tool. And you can drag it right. And zoom in with the plus button. You can drag them right to the markers. Save you lots of time. You can use it to grab people's attention. You can use it to emphasize a point. Or you can use it just to keep people engaged on your video. So, As you can see, it's very easy to do. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Also, hit the subscribe button. I think that's like also. Whatever. You know what to do. Click the buttons. Also, watch this video right here. It's going to show you how to put text behind objects in video. Pretty cool effect. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. That's a long video, isn't it? Is that long? Bye.